Hello and welcome back to Panting the Geeks. Uh, you join us for an unboxing video, which you can obviously see from the close of this. It's a big, big box. It is the War Spire Citadel. There it is. It's a big box. Uh, we are going to uh, unbox this, put it together. As I said in the previous video, if you've seen it, it's not a new piece of uh, kit. It is uh, an old terrain model that's been redone. Uh, this is the second video in MLI Importance uh, unboxings. It's the first one where we had the, the fungoid shaman and the stone cast. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got some of it out. Right. <laughs> so I've got the straps in there. Alright. There we go. Right. Yeah. Let's scan a little bit more actually. You see a little bit more. Right, there's uh, yeah. this open. Right. So, what have we got in the box? We have a large piece of the side. We have a little large piece of the other side. We have con some constructions there. We have the divider for some reason. Massive spray. Uh, there we go. One massive spray. And we have another spray. And another spray. And a spray with the dome part on the top and the roof. At least there's not as many spiky bits on this as there was on the fortress. Ooh, the fortress. Yeah, that's a painful lamp. Yeah. Right. Look at the instructions. Four square citadel. There we go. So we're going to start with these two sections. Then. First to get pulled out. By the looks of it. Mhm. Mm yeah. There's some pegs on the inside of this. So there's pegs on that side. Crossbar holes on that side. To give it a bit more structure and make sure it goes together in the right place. I will put lots of glue on that though. You want it's quite a heavy plastic one to make sure it sticks. So those two parts are going to go together like that. Um, once they are solid, I will be back. Okay, so I've glued the two sides together. And you can see there's this enormous gap all the way around it. And down there as well. Uh, when you put this together, make sure that you get the roof part clipped under as well when you go in it because that, that sort of like juts out on this side you need to push that under and when I did that it sort of jutted out in other areas but this is scenery so it's a thick cheap and cheaper plastic so there's the roof that bit should be under uh, and then you've got this sort of massive gaping hole as far as I'm concerned all the way around the stone parts or meteorite parts as it now is um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this with green stuff, I'm going to do it now. So you get yourself some green stuff, I'm just going to roll it into a long sausage. A long thin sausage. Just in case you don't know what he's saying, he's saying sausage. No, I'm doing the Johnny Depp advert. Oh, the sausage. That's what we think it is anyway. I'd also want to say sausage instead of sauvage. Sausage. Be great. So you want something really thin like that, and the idea is basically you find an end like that, get on, mm -hmm. and then we just literally push that into place wherever that hole is. Trying to shove it in the gap. If you're not got enough, it's fine. I think I might have just done it actually. By random luck, I might just have just done done it the right length. Push that on. Get in there. And make sure that once you've got it bit by bit on, make sure it goes into those holes, fills that gap, which is the it's 
So once you've got it all like that, then you can find yourself a uh, sculpting tool, which is usually the best one with a nice flat side there. They've also got a nice point on that side as well. So you can use the pointy end to sort of push it even further into the gaps. You use it for lots of things really. You can use it to do a bit of like stone surface detail as well. It always reminds me of a dentist implement that. I think they're exactly the same, so <laughs> <laughs> don't quote me. Dentist ones are probably a lot more expensive. A lot more high tech. But yeah, we make sure that we get that to stick first and in the right place. And then you get a little bit of water and you damp the flat side. You can use, uh, if you don't have one like that, which was the one that Games Workshop sold? Or sold, I think it's, is it more like that one? I don't know, like that one. Anyway, you want one that's got a flat side and you want to damp that down. And then you can basically um, smooth that in. But what you can also do is because these bits are quite flat, you could actually use it to put a bit more detail into your uh, your model if you wanted. Because when we're going to stuff dry, it's going to be fairly hard. It's not going to come off. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do the same around the. That was going to be a bit more difficult. I might just put some filler in there. No, I'll do the same with the green stuff, I think. Uh, and when that's dried, I will come back. Okay, so I've put the green stuff on. That's fine for now. I might file some of that down at the end. We'll see how we go. The next two parts, the numbered in the manual, because this is a new manual, I think, for an old model. Um, so this is part... Uh, 14? Yeah, and this is part... 24. And they actually, they've cut everything off the sprues because the sprues don't have numbers on. No, they don't. So, I'm not sure what the point of numbering them in the manual was. <laughs> uh, there we go. So, that's part 14. That bit is, I think it's meant to be at that angle because it slides into there. So, it goes in there. And this other part goes opposite it. And there's a little groove there in the roof of that house, and that goes on there. So we'll glue those two bits on. Is there any more parts for uh, this there section? Are, just that bit. That bit. Uh, these two bits. Mm. And that bit. The force won't keep that on. Uh, so what have we got? Two little roof tiles. Those are two um, 20 ones. The two flat ones. Yeah. The triangle bit is 17. What's this? And that's 23. Cool. And the other part six. And where do these go? Let's have a look. Does this go on here? Yeah. Let's actually see the. So we've got the two parts together. Those two parts go on there. That bit goes on this part of the roof. And then these two tiles go on here. One at this side and one at the other side. So there's like there and there. And then this uh, small window, so go on this side. Uh, that's going to go up here, right at the top, where we've got those two bits there. And then, like I said, this bit goes on here to make this like, big bay window part. Or well, the back of a ship, it almost looks like. That's awesome, actually. Uh, <laughs> I wish they'd make ships, that'd be cool. Uh, back of a ship sort of bit of that. So, there is lots and lots of flash and bits and stuff you need to take off this model. Um, so you're definitely going to need a knife and probably one of these uh, scraping tools as well to get all of it off. Probably some files as well, or even some of the other stuff. So, there's quite a little bit of modelling work involved in building this. But it's an older kit. And all the guys workshop model kits uh, for scenery, should I say, are all this cheaper, thicker plastic, mm. which doesn't always uh, join up as well, shall we say. Right, so, um, let's put all these bits on, and that should get us to this stage. You can see it on the camera, this stage here. 
um, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we've got all those parts on there. So you can see that on there as well. Next up, according to the instructions, we have parts 19, 18 and 25. 19 and 19, those are two. Alright, the same. So. Yeah. Yeah, the same. It's two roof sections and then a little gable end kind of bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Whatever you call that. And they just go on the top part there. And uh, this bit is just going to fit onto the. So uh, we'll stick those parts on, that should be the roof done. And then we can start on this broken walkway drawbridge type part. we do that bit next. So we'll be back once the roof's on. Okay, so there is the roof on, and the next stage is the strawbridge part. This is part five, and this is part four. Part five is one with a little bit of cut for the stairs. Those two parts are going to go like that, if you can see that on the camera. Um, this part is going to go like that. That's the actual bridge section. The flat side goes against the tower, the broken side. Is the bit sticking out that's going to go that way then. Then we have the staircase which is going to go on there. And then we have this little bit which fills the gap between the stairs and the rest of this. Then that gets stuck on this front part there. With this, there's these little parts for the stairs to go on. You can see where it lines up with the steps on there. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on. And then I want it to fully dry because that bit's sort of hanging off and not supported by anything else. So that's going to take a little while to do. And then I'll be back. Okay, so while that drawbridge that you can just see on the top of the camera is drying, which looks quite cool on actually, uh, we'll just move on to the next stage to get this bit done. Because uh, the next piece we use is 10, which is this bit. This is the underside of this, uh, this piece. And that is going to go, I'll show you better once so I can move the rest of this. But it goes on top of the limb that's outstretched. I don't think you can see it where the camera is. Uh, there's a little circle bit in these two struts. I was going to get glued on that, but I will show you. Uh, I want to do this bit because I want to get this bit drying as well. So we have 15, 16, 16, and 15. So there's two different types of wall. Um, let's show you that. There they are. One with skulls and one with the skulls and the door. Now let's show they alternate and they go to form like a, a tower part of it. So you can see there, they're just going to attach to each other to make this tower. And then also on top of that, we have this bit here, uh, which is these two sections, which are the same section, part 32 and 32. It's just the same bit, but they join together like that, and that makes the roof section, which you can leave as it is and not actually have the observatory on. Encounters the battlement, I think, but because um, obviously, if you put the observatory on, you're not going to see any of this. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave the observatory part later on glued off so you can actually get to this bit. I can switch them around them. But those two parts are going to stick together like that so they can be drying. These four walls are going to go together. There's no clips or anything in these, is there? No, I don't think so. So, I'm going to have to take a while to line these up and make sure. They're at the same height and everything. Um, so I might also need to put some green stuff in, but I'll be back and let you know if I've had to do that. Uh, but while this is drying, I can be getting on with this. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you where we're up to. Okay, so what I've actually done is the roof part I stuck together. This is still drying a little bit. Once that was dry, those two parts, I actually lined up the rest of this citadel part using the roof as a guide to keep it together because there's no connectors or anything in there. So it's a bit difficult to hold four pieces together of this shape and it not go. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do next, um, I'm going to sw swivel this around, hopefully. There you go. I'm going to glue this part, which I said before, onto this circular bit with these two struts. I'm going to glue that on, and then this bit, uh, 
will end up being attached to this bottom part here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. So uh, there's two ways you could you could actually put this into this bit now, which would strengthen it. But then you'd have to make sure you held it in place while it glued on there, or I could glue this onto the there now. And when that goes on, this will already be dry. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which is the best way to do it. This seems to have found its shape all right by aligning it up with the roof. So I'm actually going to stick this on to here, like that dry, and then put it on. It might be easier the other way, depending on, I don't know, we shall see. <laughs> we'll see whether I've made the right choice or not. But I'm going to stick this on here first, and then this bit onto it afterwards. Uh, that should bring us around to this part uh, where you put it all together and you've got that bit there. And then we can go on to the dome section. Actually, what it says there, optional assembly, is to... Um, you can stick the observatory straight onto that. Oh. So it says there. But then you'd have to line up the uh, stairs differently by the looks of it. Yeah. I want the tower on anyway, so I'm not going to do it that way. But also if it's an optional way to do it. You could just have the observatory section. Um, I'm going to obviously put this off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. These need to set fully before I move on. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so we've got this bit stuck on now. Um, I'd do it the other way than I actually did it if I did this again. I'd actually put this bottom part into the tower and stick the whole tower on because it did push some of the walls apart the way it was. So it'd be easier just to do that, I think. And if you were worried about it falling off, you could always pin it. So next up is parts 11, 12 and 13, which are these parts. We have the small set of stairs, which is going to go in there and attach to this. And then we've got... Um, Sorry, these are the stairs. That's going to go on there. And then at the top of the stairs, which goes into this part, we've got this walk around walkway bit there. So that's going to go together a bit like that. Um, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So we're getting really high up here now. So that's going to go into that slot there. Um, yeah, so. I'll probably glue that bit on, glue this bit on, and then glue this bit into the middle because there's no, doesn't appear to be any attachments for the actual stairs on this wall. So we'll just do it that way. So we're back once they've been glued on and they've set. Okay, so just before we put the uh, stairs on uh, stuff, uh, I've had to tear the whole thing off and put it back on. It's not quite set yet because it was orientated wrong. So. I'm not taking the blame for this. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at uh, this picture, I don't think the camera's going to pick this up. If you look at this picture here, uh, it shows this door lining up with this middle section, this bit of the walkway, which is what I lined it up with. But it doesn't work because if you look at the picture on the front of the box, none of it lines up properly because this bit needs to line up with a door. So that door section there, otherwise it doesn't go in properly. That's the first time I tested it actually, it does fit. So there we go, it's obviously right now. And that was what was confusing us, because when yeah. you had it in before, it wasn't holding to anything. And off it goes. <laughs> uh, so this bit here should be the bit that lines up with the door on this top part, like so. So you need to make sure you've orientated your top tower bit that way around, so you've got a door facing out this way and the two windows there, basically. Uh, and that's what the front, that's what the box art actually looks like. So the instructions, I think, are a bit misleading. Uh, go off the box art for that. So, uh, we're back, we'll just put these on now. Okay, so we're back with the close-up of the door. Yes, it is meant to be in that position. I was wrong. As I hadn't taken into account the stairs, but there they are. And they do, they lock in underneath this bit of ledge, underneath this step, and then there's like a little clip underneath, a oh, tiny little sort of line, which lines up with this, and you just, it did fit on quite easily actually. 
Uh, so that's the stairs done. Looking pretty good actually so far. Next up, we're going to do some battlements. Uh, these are the battlements. Okay, so these parts here, these are parts 18, and these are parts 17. The difference is not much. There is a uh, little sort of metal brace on this one, if you have a look at that, and it, which doesn't appear on this one. They've all got gargoyles and this similar amount of spikes and everything. So that's the only visual difference. And they alternate around to make the battlements, a bit like we did with the actual walls. And um, so I'm just gonna stick them together. Luckily they've got flat bottoms, so I can actually just stick them together on, on the mat though. I wait for it to dry. So while that's drying, we'll also do the other part, uh, which is the, obviously that's optional, which is the dome section here, which is 27 and 26. Those two bits have just got clips in. They'll just fit like that really well. Um, we have 28, which is part of the telescope. That bit goes in there. So when you're putting this on, it goes that way up, I think, like that. With a little lens at the top, it goes with the motors at the bottom, and you've kind of got to stick all this together at the same time. Boom! It does fit in like that. So you've got to get that in, that in, and then it doesn't move up and down. I thought it might, it might move up and down. It doesn't. Well, the only thing Games Workshop didn't, I didn't know whether it just because they glued it in place for, for uh, strength. I suppose you could always find a way to do it. So those parts will go on, and then there's a lens goes over that you see there it's got the uh, shape cut out so you know which way that goes it's going to go on there and then we have this hatch which I suppose is optional really you don't, need, you don't really need to put the hatch on it does look pretty cool I do like it uh, it doesn't particularly go anywhere on the back there's no sort of corresponding groove or anything for it so you can just fit it on there or on that side, whichever side you think looks best. On the instructions it says do it on that side, I probably will do it on that side. Uh, but as I said, you don't really, you don't have to put the hatch on, but I just think it does look cool. So I'm going to stick that together, stick that together, and what else? Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, in the optional extras, on the back page, back page last page, so once we've got the castle, uh, which tower citadel thing, which crap, no, whatever it is, the citadel looking good. Uh, we basically have these doors, which is hanging out, like on the left there, for instance. You can see that. Uh, we have these sort of reliquary bits with skulls in, which are just going to be stuck over those doors that are hanging out into nowhere. So people don't walk out and die horribly. <laughs> uh, I am going to put those on. Uh, you do also have optional temple symbols, I mean empire symbols, <laughs> but I do like empire temple symbols. Uh, those have got a groove in the back, so you can actually stick them on the corners of these once they're together. I'm not going to do that, I'm going to leave them off, there's enough empire type symbols here. Uh, so, I'm going to stick all those bits together, so when we come back, in theory at least, I should be finished. And be able to show you the final product. See you in a moment. Okay, so here is the finished tower, and you can get the full scale of it. There it is, with battlements. Uh, take the battlements off with uh, observation thingy, magic observatory, or whatever they call it in the Warhammer universe. A nice big uh, model actually. Mm. Just for scale. Here's Goblinoid Guy. You can see the size of him. He does actually uh, he fits on the drawbridge. There he is. <laughs> fits there quite nicely. Mm -hmm. And uh, into the walk quite as well. There he is, hiding. So you can fit a 32mm base along there. That's the extent of what you can fit on there, to be fair. This was more designed for the uh, smaller bases, I think. There we go. 
What do you think? I think it looks absolutely awesome. It does? Yeah, it's a nice piece of kit. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I do like it. Did always want one. Now I've got one. So <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And if we, we play more important stuff, we've got it for that as well. Mm -hmm. As well as our Heralds of Doom or whatever they are. <laughs> Harbingers of Doom or whatever you call them. So there we go. So that is the second uh, video from more importance. There'll be a third one. Uh, it might be a few days because I want to read the book fully. And uh, we'll have a look at that, the cards and the dice and stuff for that video. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the model videos done for now. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again later, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.